all right guys and welcome back welcome back to part two and if you saw part one well you know we already went the farthest we ever gone on the hopper about 45 miles to boca grande sandbar festival almost two and a half hour boat trip and i was accompanied with my good friend raulito and it was a fun ride but once we arrived we noticed that the red tide was really bad but that didn't stop the event because there was plenty of boaters there having fun in the sun but for us we decided not to jump in the water and go somewhere else. But before heading out, we stopped, grabbed a little snack, and headed back down. And that is part of the adventure. Some are good, some are okay, and some are bad. And when you run into a bad one, don't worry. Just go ahead and, and start on a new one and see how that one turns out. And one thing I definitely can't complain, and it wasn't bad, is the surf. It was almost perfectly flat, and it made a really comfortable ride, even for two and a half hours. And another good thing, since I have two captains, they alternate driving. Right now, Fraquito's resting, while Joel takes the helm. And two and a half hours later, we have reached our second destination for the day. And can you guys tell me where we at? And we noticed something right away. The water here was way much better. And there were plenty of beachgoers and boaters here at Sanibo Beach. And normally we park on the Bay Area, but today we decided to park on the Gulf side, but not at the edge where the sandbar is, a little further down midway of the beach. And now here comes the best part of the day. Yup, you know it, lunchtime. Smoky, the master chef of Casa Roja Bakery. I get the Cape Coral. You know it. <laughs> Pan Island, 728 Southwest Pan Island Road. Ay, ay, si ya no me un Yeah. Es un niño bueno. Mmm. Mira, mira ahí, sharing, sharing food. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Food, food. Gracias, gracias. All right, so what time is it? No, no sausage. Sandwich, because we thought we were going to be dancing around in the music at the festival. Liar, liar. Why, liar, why? Because you just want to like, you like for me to be cooking all the time. That's what you Oh, it's just, I thought we were going to be at the Sandbar Festival having fun in the sun, but I didn't want to get in the red tide water. So we decided to come to Senebel and hang out here. Because, uh, I don't know, we've seen a lot of dead fish. I tried to get in that camera, but I guess we didn't want to stop. But yeah, it was a lot of dead fish. I feel really bad. So we decided to come over here to uh, Senebel and just finish the rest of the day. Cause that's all you can do. Adjust your plans to the day. So yeah, we got Big Mama doing doing some some yeah. sandwiches. Big Mama always always. Big Mama got always get stuck cooking or making stuff. Oh, we got the vultures waiting. Look at the vultures. It actually took me out of the water for me to make the sandwiches. Oh my goodness gracious! You got some mean family. <laughs> oh well, guys, you already know this is my favorite part of the day. What? Food time, and it doesn't matter, it could be sausages, hamburgers, or even sandwiches, and even sometimes cold fried chicken. But I don't know what it is, but the water makes everything taste better. Well, at least for me it does. And talking about better, you know who got lucky? Fredequito and Joel, because Pablito's friend came by with a jet ski and offered them if they want to use it. And guess what they did? Yep, they jumped on it right away.
while for the Quito and Joel enjoy the jet ski, me and Oguita are gonna go ahead and take a walk to the beach and see what we could find. So our plans was to have fun in the sun at our West Coast sandbar party. And you, like you saw, we went by. It looked pretty cool. The only thing was the red tie smelled funny. None of us wanted to get it, really get in the water. So we headed over to Sanibel Beach and it actually turned out from a party day, it turned out to a sea laxing day. And you know me, I could do both, no problem. So we're here at Sanibel, just having a good time. What are you doing? Oh boy. You know what she's doing, right? Yep. Scavenging. I guess it's plenty to scavenge here. There's a lot of shells here. Look at that. Okay, so from uh <laughs> from uh music, party down, get ready to get crazy, get down and relax and enjoy the day <laughs> type of thing. Open them? They look like hearts. Uh -huh. Okay. They look pretty interesting. I wonder what type of shells that they're. You know the name of the shells or no? Wow, that's some big shells. Pretty cool. Well, you already know Guida, when it comes to the sea life, she could get very creative, like she's doing now with, with these heart-shaped shells. And now she's gonna get even more creative. She's gonna make a heart out of seaweed. Now let's see how it comes out. And look at that, I think it came out pretty good. What do you guys think about it? And you know we're definitely gonna take advantage of this moment and take some pictures. Well, like you've seen, sometimes Ogida can get creative with house decor. But now, this is very unique. First time she does it, and I think it came out really good. And we'll call it beach decor. All right, so we're just strolling here, having a relaxing, sea laxing <laughs> day, because uh, we couldn't make it to the sandbar party. But we did, we didn't stay. You're a cheerleader? You're a cheerleader? Well, like you saw, we didn't stay at the sandbar, but we sure made it to the beach and had a good time. And Ogita got creative with some seaweed and she found some pretty cool looking shells. But it's getting late and I have a surprise for the kids that they've been asking me all day to go home and check it out. So I think we're gonna go ahead and start heading back because we want to take advantage before it gets dark because it's something that they've been asking me for a while now and I haven't told them yet that I bought it but they saw me today coming in with a big box and they all got curious but I didn't let them open it. I told them when we get back today from boating I'll let you open it. So they've been asking me to go home ever since we got here. So I figured they have suffered enough and they have a lot of patience. We jumped on the boat and said goodbye to Raulito because he decided to stay here and wait for some more boating buddies that were coming by. But Joel and Fresco couldn't wait any longer to find out what was inside our box. And if you're waiting around today for me to post a video and you didn't know, the easy way to get rid of that is just subscribe and turn on all notifications like that. 
you won't miss or have to wait for any videos. You'll receive a notification on your phone letting you know I have one posted. And don't worry, it's for free. So what do you guys think about the adventure today? Yeah, I know it was pretty far, 45 miles. I've never driven that far with a hopper, but now I know it's capable. And guess what? We only wasted a quarter of a tank going there, and we only have 55 gallons of fuel. So once again, the island hopper has amazed me. And now we just hit Sanibel Bridge, but traveling back home. And I was reading over some of the comments that people left on the previous video, and they were telling me there's other ramps closer to Boca Grande and yes I know I've been there and used them before but I wanted to do the long journey from behind the house and to me that's part of the adventure and some people were telling me why don't I organize a trip from Cape Coral all the way to Boca Grande Sandbar and I thought about it it's not a bad idea what do you guys think I mean if your boat is a fuel efficient like a hopper I think it will be a really nice trip but we're gonna have to wait till the red tide washes away So we got lucky once again, we have a smooth ride back home. But you know what? I forgot something. Do you guys remember what Obita told me to go get and I didn't because we had some in the backyard? Yep, I didn't forget. So now we took advantage at the miserable mound and cut up some really cold mango. And you guys already know that I love making sausages on the boat, but, but also I love eating cold fruits on the hot days like this when you go on the boat. Now that was cold, sweet and refreshing and without no time at all we made it back to our channel and the closer we got to the house the more they asked what was in the box. All I told them was you guys will like it and you can ride it. So now they were puzzled. check this out so we came at curly because of the day that turned out like it turned out check this out it's time to have some fun in the water for the kids that's the only way gabby is gonna get wet today all right so this is gonna be fun it's gonna be fun we're gonna see who gets killed put it in the front It was pretty big. Here, protect the pump just in case. Here. All right, so it's gonna be fun. And look who's going, Gabby. She's a thrill seeker. And Joel, because Fresco and Oguita didn't want to go, so we're doing our ourselves. So normally we used to do this with a jet ski, and there's no more jet skis, so we're gonna do it with the hopper. Huh? Throw it this way. No. Alright, let it let it go back. Well you well, you guys gonna get out right now? Okay, hold on, let me <laughs> let me stop there. Alright, right, right, go ahead, get on. Okay, here we go. I hold. Right, took off your glasses. Go, right. oh, you hold in the middle. Let him go. So I'm ready. Wow, this is surprising that Gabby came out here to ride the Enitu, but 
I'm glad she did, because she's always complaining that she's bored here at Cape Coral. Now she won't give me such a hard time when we come over here. Because, I mean, she likes boating, but not as much as we do. But she does like playing in the water, so I guess this will give her more opportunities to play in the water and have some fun in the sun. And as soon as I opened the box, she was super excited. And I was surprised. I didn't know she really wanted one. Because Joel was the one that always mentioned that here in the bay is a perfect place to ride an inner tube. And I was really surprised because both of them were holding on really tight. They didn't fall off. And I'm really glad they really enjoyed this. So the day turned out pretty good after all.